Good afternoon, everybody. As I'm filming this, it is early February and seasons have pretty much wound down. Um, there's still a last day hunt here in Delaware. Pretty much everywhere else, deer is done. Although, as I'm filming this, uh, I do have a few does out in the backyard uh, kind of trimming our grass for us. But this is the time of year where some people are getting out to do some predator hunting. Uh, there's really not a whole lot else going on this time of year for the most part. Uh, we got a nice cold snowy day here. Uh, just had a front come through so I'm thinking of some comfort food and we're going to take you into the kitchen where we get to enjoy the spoils of fall. So we're each going to show you some of our favorite recipes. Mine I'm going to do halupki. Uh, my mom's side of the family is all from Culver, PA, uh, Eastern European. So this is some Western PA comfort food. We are going to do it with a little twist instead of just doing ground beef. We've got sick of deer. So if you go back and you see our sick of deer hunt, this is from the small stag that I shot this last year. It's ground with a little bit of pork. So we're going to go through this a little bit step by step. Uh, Darty pre-did the mashed potatoes over here. Nothing too crazy about that. Uh, I add a little cream cheese and some garlic salt to add some flavor to that. But the beautiful thing about these halupkis that we're going to have and with the mashed potatoes is this stuff just reheats like you wouldn't believe it's not one of those things you don't want to eat it the next day it's one of those things that it's better the next day so we got the oven on at 350. one of the first ingredients you're going to need something else also pre-cooked is some rice so you're going to pre-cook some rice you use about a cup and a half here and i got the cabbage cooking here you are going to kind of steam and boil this cabbage to get all the leaves pulled off you're going to want to start that early while that's kind of boiling and softening up so you can pull off the leaves, you're going to mix your meat and your rice and the other ingredients that you need. So this is pretty much ready. I'm going to mix this up together. As soon as the cabbage is ready, we're going to roll our halupki. Next thing I got to pull out is a, a small glass dish. Uh, you're going to be cooking in that as soon as the uh, halupkis are ready and the oven's preheated. We'll get them in there and get it taken care of. As your cabbage starts to soften, you're going to pull off the leaves here. You can just put them in a small bowl that you have next to you. mention as I'm chopping this up you're gonna want to take the smaller pieces of cabbage on the inside of the head and save those you're gonna take those pieces at the end and kind of garnish your dish so save what you can't roll with and you're actually gonna need to also save uh, about 10 to 12 ounces of the water that you've been steaming the cabbage in 
Now, while the rest of the cabbage is finishing up, we can address our sauce. So you need a 28 ounce can of tomato sauce. I'm gonna add some diced tomatoes too with some garlic and oregano. You're gonna use your reserve cabbage water with jar sauce. I'm gonna add some diced tomatoes on top of that. And you're gonna add a quarter cup of white vinegar. And you're gonna add a couple tablespoons of sugar. Stir these both together. And then this sauce here is gonna be what's poured on top of your cabbage rolls when you get them plated in the glass dish. Okay, so we're gonna start to roll our halupki. Just gonna take, um, depending on the size of your cabbage leaf, a nice little bit of meat. Roll it in and over itself. A little tuck. Obviously, your first few ones are gonna be a little bit bigger because they're the bigger cabbage leaves. As you're rolling your halupki, you're just going to be stuffing a little bit of meat into each one, rolling up the cabbage leaf, and then placing it in the dish. I usually end up with a little extra meat at the end here. You can see in my second dish, uh, I rolled some meatballs here. Spread my tomato sauce on top of that. The kids, not the biggest fans of cabbage, but I wasn't either when I was little. So first dish, pure halupki. I got a second dish with some overflow here, a few meatballs for the kids. We're gonna pop this into the oven 350 degrees for the next two hours, and then we're gonna have some good eating. Uh, Sika Deer Halupki, this is one of my favorite recipes. Hopefully you have a, a full freezer and you're thinking about plants for next fall, try to keep it full. Uh, two hours to cook gives you plenty of time to do a little research and application strategy, that's what we're doing now. It's early February, it's time for some comfort food, cold weather. This is how it's done.